Okay, so we've gotten our sidewalls ready to canvas, and these are the items we're going to need for canvassing. First off, we're going to need tech cloth, get the sanding dust off, uh, alcohol, we're going to do another wipe down, and of course a towel to wipe it down with, uh, a spray bottle, Tight Bond 2, brushes for application of glue, roller for application of glue, uh, a bucket, and canvas. All right, we're going to start with wiping down the uh, foam with the tech cloth to get rid of the extra sanding dust that has accumulated. Okay, now we're going to use the alcohol, do another wipe down. This is a 9 foot by 12 foot canvas drop cloth that I get at Harbor Freight and uh, it has a seam down the center but it works great for a 4 by 8 build. The seam doesn't really get in the way, you just cut that seam out. You can buy canvas any place. I just find this to be the most economical for what you get and it's easy for me to access. So. I'll just unfold it here. <clears throat> Okay, once you get it unfolded, you'll see that there's two pieces on this particular type of thick canvas. So, to make two equal sizes, I'm just going to cut right along this fold here. Oh yeah, you'll need a pair of scissors too. So, forgot to mention that earlier. It's going to be easier for me to cut from this angle. Put your scissors up in that corner there and just start cutting. Okay, once you're done cutting, you'll have two pieces of canvas. Okay, we only need one, so we'll just fold the other one back up. I like to keep the folds the same, that way I'm not working with more wrinkles at a later date when I'm doing the other side.
Okay, just set this aside. This will be our sheet for the other side. Try and find a dust free place to put it. Okay, so we got the canvas laid out. So now we just need to fold it in about foot long sections. <clears throat> I just kind of put my finger right here where I want the bend, and then I just flip it over. Same thing on the other side. Kind of get it straightened out. Then uh, put my finger there on the fold mark. Do it again. Okay, we're going to fold up to this point. We'll leave this section here, and now we're going to fold this end section up over the top of this folded section that we just did. Just like that. Now we're ready to mix our glue. Okay, so now we're going to mix up our glue, and we're going to dilute it 50%. Uh, I found this handy bucket at the hardware store, so we're just going to fill it to 16 ounces with water and then we're going to fill it to 32 ounces with type on 2 then we just mix it okay so the way this rolled up it's a little bit more canvas than I want to work with on the end, so I'm going to go ahead and shorten it up a little bit here. And uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to apply Type On 2 to the foam surface. Then we're going to apply Type On 2 to the canvas surface, making sure we fill all the uh, pores in the canvas. We'll apply another coat of Type On 2 onto the foam again, and then we'll flip them over and uh, roll it out. When you apply this, you want to put on a coat where it feels like it's going on, where it's slick. You don't want to feel it uh, drag at all. All right. Now we apply it to the canvas. And we want to come over the edge of the canvas. By going over the edge, it makes it easier to cut off the excess when we're ready to um, trim our panels. And don't go light on the glue. Just go ahead and drop it on there and work it into those pores. The reason why we want to work this 
glue into the pores is that if those uh, pores don't get filled with glue then that's a possibility for moisture infiltration and uh, will actually rot the canvas so by getting the glue in all these little pores helps prevent that okay got the canvas covered now I'm going to go ahead and put glue onto the surface one more time Once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and flip the canvas onto the glue. Go ahead and pull like maybe a half inch to an inch over the edge. So now we're going to roll it out by spraying a little water on it first. Roll it out. Kind of pull on the edges a little bit to work the creases out. Make sure you got about a half inch overhang on this wall here or over the edge. Then we'll take some stick pins and we want to place them about every six to eight inches starting on the corners just uh this will help hold the foam on this side in place as we work across and we'll also prevent it from pulling up with the shrinking of the canvas Okay, since we're working on the edge, now I'm going to fold this in half again. And then I'm going to fold it up over where we just glued. I'm going to pull it back until I see the glue line. Now you want to see the glue line in the canvas where you already filled the weave. You want to make sure you pull it back that far where you see where you filled the weave. And now we're going to work on the next section. So an easy way to do this. So I want to go one, two, three. So three lengths, brush lengths out. One, two, three. There we go. Go ahead and you can run that brush right up underneath there. That's not a big deal. Again, we're just applying it. You want to get enough glue on where it just kind of glides across. Don't want to get too much glue on there. Too much glue doesn't really do much. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and apply it to the canvas. Again, make sure we get over the edge. See how I'm filling the uh, weave with the glue.
build the canvas, and I'm going to go ahead and reapply glue to the surface. flip this canvas over onto the glue pull it a little tight can't even work those air bubbles out all right apply water Take the roller and just roll the canvas into the glue. And work from the center out. Pull on your edges. I got a couple little creases, so just go ahead and get them a little wet. And work them out again. As we work, the canvas will relax and those creases will uh, eventually work their way out. Just got to remember to come back and work on them. You kind of tilt the roller on its edge and kind of just roll right on the crease line. A lot of times that'll push it down, get it right out of the way. Don't push too hard because you don't want to deform the foam underneath, just enough to push that canvas in. Alright, that one's rolled out. Now we're going to go ahead and pull the canvas back. Go ahead and fold it back. And then pull back until you see the glue line in the canvas. Now you want the glue line in the canvas because if you only pull back until you see glue on the body, then you won't have it pulled back far enough where you can fill the canvas weave. So go ahead and pull it back. And it's better to pull back too far than not far enough. So I'm going to do a little short one trying to get the fold back online with everything else here. So we're going to do just two brush strokes out this time. strokes in on the canvas. Put our second coat of glue on the body. The reason why I uh, apply two coats is the first coat kind of gets a little tacky. Um, so when you apply the second coat, it gets it a little bit more thickness. Um, 
in hotter weather it'll give you a longer work time. It's not real hot today, so we're not having an issue with the drying on us too quick. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pull that right into the glue. Once again, pull it tight. Add your water. Take your roller and roll it out. Apply a little pressure on the sides. Just roll one direction. Don't push those air bubbles right out. Right, a little bit of crease right there. Soak it up good. Work it out. Now's a good time to come back and make sure you don't got any other creases that you're working on that uh, are coming back or not gone yet. So you can go ahead and work on those. Just go ahead and hit them, roll them again. Now we're going to go ahead and hold the canvas back on itself again. Okay, so by now I should be in sync with the roll, I hope. So, here we go, we're going to roll it back. So you can tell that I've, uh, I'm back to where I filled the weave already, so I don't even need to really pull it back. So I'll just go ahead and apply the glue to the body, then to the canvas once again. So we're going to go one, two, three. Let's say three and a half. So one, two, three and a half. Again, don't be afraid to get up underneath the canvas there because you'll just be uh, rolling it back out anyway. So. Alright. Okay, since we got the roll in sync with the glue, with each roll now, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, apply glue on this whole. Uh, roll here. If anything gets on the canvas or is on the canvas, now is the time to pluck it off. Got a couple of little lint balls I just took off there. Don't want that under your canvas because that will create little um, divots or dimples. second coat of glue to the body. And 
going to just flip our canvas over into the glue. Go ahead and flip it out one more time. Pull the canvas tight. And right now, we've got some uh, some strings from the canvas. Go ahead and remove those when you see them. All right, go ahead and put the surface. And roll up the canvas. Okay. 